Now, believe it or not, and we're not even making this up, the moon may soon be open for business. The geopolitical race for a piece of the moon, of course, is heating up as China, the United States and India are all vying for the dominance of the moon. Now, check this report as to how private companies are now getting involved and they're flocking to the moon and are selling some real estate there. Take a look. The moon, the brightest object in the night sky. Poets have written odes to it. It's been considered magical in ancient ritual and practices. There's something enigmatic and mysterious about the moon. In the recent past, there's been an unprecedented moon rush. Everyone wants a piece of the moon. The United States had won the race to the moon by becoming the first to land humans on it. But that was a different era, competition between two Cold War rivals, the Soviet Union and the US. Now fresh competition has emerged in the quest to reach the moon. India achieved the remarkable feat of becoming the fourth nation in history to successfully land a spacecraft on the lunar surface. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Russians and obviously the Americans all are zooming on to the moon. In recent years, the business sector has picked up the gauntlet. If all goes to plan, a SpaceX rocket will launch the first commercial lunar lander within weeks. The Nova C probe is the brainchild of Texas firm Intuitive Machines. So from the time we launch to the time we land is less than seven days. Once we're on the surface of the moon, we will operate as long as the sun is in the sky, which for the moon will be about 12 to 13 days. Unfortunately, once the sun goes down, it gets extremely cold at the moon and the vehicle systems will most likely freeze and that'll be the end of the first mission. It will not return. The mission is part of NASA's commercial lunar payload services project. It's meant to make moon trips more efficient by letting private firms bid on delivering gear to the Earth's satellite. That's ahead of a planned resumption of manned missions. If it succeeds, Nova C will be making the first soft landing on the moon by a US craft since the last Apollo mission in 1972. NASA's new Artemis program now plans to land astronauts on the moon again by late 2025. Well, you can also have a piece of the moon. A simple Google search and you'll quickly discover a plethora of companies specializing in lunar land sales. A click of a button could help the interested explore lunar real estate and get started on their celestial property journey. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.